Come on, let's go. Bye bye, Bassie. Bye bye, little man. Bye bye. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. Where I'm late again. It's nice to see you. I changed my hair to red, if you didn't notice. Do you like it? I like it. You take this. And just keep it on. All right. We are currently in a rush because I decided to schedule my hair appointment for um, fucking 10 a.m. And it's an hour away and it's 9.05. So right now we are fucking gunning it to get there on time. But um, I've been rocking a mid part for about, I don't know, maybe, the, maybe about two years I've been rocking a mid part. And I'm, uh, I'm, say I'm looking for a change. Today can go in one of two ways. I'm either going to have a mental breakdown, or it's not going to be that bad. And I'm actually going to have a lot of compliments on my hair. <laughs> but this being in the south, you never know. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even there? And forgive me for the bad quality and bad lighting. I frankly just don't give a shit. And if it looks like, you know, I just woke up, it's because I did. To hear a loud It's my car window uh, not being taped well enough because the window doesn't roll up or down. Oh yeah, and since then, uh, since the last time me and you talked, I'm assuming it's been a minute, I'm assuming you missed me horribly, and I missed you too. I have codependency issues. My car broke down. And oh my fucking god, took two months, not two months, took two weeks, and he still couldn't find the problem with it, but in the two weeks that my car was sitting at the shop, my car practically pissed itself in oil like a child on a bus or a chihuahua that got fucking scared. All the oil just gone. It almost killed my entire car, but in that two weeks, my manager, who's a cool dude, he let me borrow his car for two weeks. I'm still setting up for a uh, for a nicer car around um, March. That's probably around the same time when I'm going to be going to school. I'm very nervous about that, but I will check in with you after I go get my haircut. Okay? Don't miss me too much. Bye. Wah. Look, it's Jesus over there. He's spreading his all over the poor little woodland creatures this morning. Alright, so on our way to Asheville, they have this piece of highway they've been working on for fucking years. And Asheville has some of the worst drivers imaginable. Some of the worst traffic I have ever been in in my entire life. I lived in Nashville, I lived in Asheville, lived in New York, not the big part of New York, but anytime it rains here, there's an accident. And there was this huge truck, it's like a garbage truck or something like that, that was trying to meld onto the highway, right off an exit, and was just, and you know, you know when you're coming towards an exit, you're trying to slow down, but you're still at maybe about 40 to 30 miles an hour. And I had to slam on my brakes because he just wouldn't stop trying to merge onto the exit from where he was working. So instead of having like flaggers or like, you know, anyone to kind of like stop traffic just for a moment, just so he could get out, because that's a big piece of equipment that really can't gain speed quickly. He just started to do it on his own. And so whenever I slammed on my brakes and my car almost completely stalled out because it's a piece of junk, uh, he started like cussing me out. We're going to see if that didn't completely like total my car, hopefully. I mean, it looks fine, but the car did stall and I could not give it any gas at all for a second. So we're going to see what happens with that. Our hairstylist changed locations and didn't tell me into, until like maybe like 45 minutes before I was supposed to be there. And I live over an hour away. So that naturally is going to make me very late. And the hairstylist, you know, I don't know if you've ever been to one, they don't like it when you're late at all. None. They don't like it. But holy shit. Almost got into a wreck. Uh, yeah. Like uh, destroyed my only means of transportation for a while at least. And I just got this thing back out of the shop. So if this thing goes back in the shop, I won't have another way to work, sadly. So as an Asheville resident, what do you think about your drivers here? They shit. And they shouldn't have their licenses. It should be a little more tricky to get your license here. 
Well, yeah, because you're in a bigger city. I'm from like a small town where like, the traffic doesn't get bigger than two lanes, but we're going to let the car sit for just another second and we're going to see if it's drivable. I will keep you updated. Bye. Okay, so we made it here, but making it back is going to be the hard part because we don't know if the car's on its last leg or not. So I may just have to drop off this car at the shop again, even though I've only had it back for two days. But we'll see, and I'll do the big hair reveal here in a second. We're going to go for a lot of face, face framing? Yeah, a lot of face framing. Three, two, one, hair reveal, wow! It's not styled yet, and we're almost home. But we also didn't almost make it home. We are, we're still on our way, but we got Bojangles. It's like the Chick-fil-A of the poor people. That's what I call it. But uh, we're going to go home, and we're going to eat some Bojangles. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to style my hair and do my makeup. Because I don't think this looks right without makeup. No, I don't think it does either. <laughs> it looks so weird without makeup. You can see all my pores. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can see how much sleep I've lost. See? This is about 40 hours. This is about 40 hours. And all the acne is all the sweat. I will see you all in just one second after I get done eating, do my makeup, and record some tiny little fun videos. All right, are you guys ready to see the new and improved haircut? Wow! Hey, look, it looks so cool. Aspen styled it amazingly. Look at that. I'm so happy with it. Do you guys like it? Tell me in the comments down below. That sounded so cringe. <laughs> but I really love it, and I actually feel a little bit more confident because I actually hated my forehead. But, uh, yeah, here it is. Thank you all for entertaining this kind of short vlog hope you have a great day drive safe and i'll see you in the next one Bye.